Let's try to clear up a little confusion. Setting a volume limit on your phone or tablet is a good habit to get into, but we also don't want to just put blind faith in the volume slider on a gadget. When discussing these topics, I get a lot of general agreement. Oh, I never set my volume above half, and that's great but there's one small problem. There's no agreement on consumer electronics for audio output and different headphones require different amounts of power. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna go too deep into the math on this video. If there's a ton of interest, I'll dig into the physics of this a bit deeper. Every phone or audio player or Bluetooth headphone has an amp, a piece of hardware which amplifies the electrical signal enough to power the drivers in your headphones. Every phone, tablet, laptop, or computer has a different amp, and some amps are more powerful than others. That means the idea of volume at half is a different amount of output from gadget to gadget to gadget. To further complicate this issue, different headphones need different amounts of power to achieve the same amount of output. Again, I'm grossly oversimplifying this, but we are getting to the point. Some headphones need a lot of power. Most consumer grade headphones only need a little, but ultimately this means we can't just blindly rely on the little volume slider in our phone. My nice studio cans connected to a phone with a weak amp might take me up to 80% and I'd still be at a comfortable listening volume. Similarly, low power headphones connected to a powerful amp might be ear shattering at 30%. And wireless options each have their own internal audio processing hardware, which doesn't directly compare to the phone's potential output. When the volume slider's at 50%, it's 50% of the headset's total output, and that's not the same as 50% of the phone's output. A practical example of this idea, say you have two pairs of headphones, some decent cans, and some sporty earbuds. Chances are pretty good that if you set a volume limit for the earbuds, unplug those earbuds and then plug in your cans, the cans will probably sound a little quieter at the same volume level. It would be really nice if the volume slider on a phone, tablet, laptop, media player would directly relate to how much acoustic energy was produced. Instead of an unlabeled bar or generic percentage, it told you 60 decibels or 80 decibels. But the only way for a gadget to calculate that is to also know all of the technical specs for the headphones that are being plugged in. It is possible to measure the output with microphones, but for most consumers out there, you probably aren't using some kind of recording booth with access to studio grade mics to measure. The best advice, always has been, still is, use your ears. Find a quiet room, take a song you know really well, turn up the volume to a comfortable limit, and then maybe turn it down one click from that level. That's a good general threshold for you. When you're out and about in a busy or noisy environment, try not to turn it up above that level. If you're really struggling to hear your audio on the go, you probably need to look at different options to better block noise. Again, try not to turn your earbuds up to block the world around you. All right, folks, I thought it was worth clearing up a little confusion and hopefully share some general information to help prevent some bad habits. Thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos. We know the YouTube algorithm isn't gonna make them popular and subscribing to this channel. I'll be hosting more conversations on hearing health and fun technology for your ears here on YouTube and over on my site, somegadgetguy.com. You can follow all the audio content I produce under the 2020 hearing hashtag. If you would like to help support the production of these conversations, there are links below, or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. A growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future topics and reviews. They're super cool people, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next video.